everybody. Welcome back. It's Jill with Go English Coach. So what I wanted to do is get started on the regular and irregular verbs. Let's start with the regulars. So we take a simple verb like uh, move or um, travel. Okay, let's, those are our verbs. Okay, and let's make them in the past tense. So we have our affirmative statements. Affirmative is plus. It's just a statement. So I moved, you moved, she, it's all moved, right? All have the same here, they and we. It's all just moved, right? It's all traveled. We're just adding the ED, okay? Traveled. So we're just adding E, D. Now what happens with the ones with the silent E, we just take that E off. So there's no two E's, okay? So we just moved, traveled, okay? Then we have, let's see, we've got a couple irregulars. Let's do this. What happens in the past tense over here? With come, the past tense is came. We change the E, no E, D, it's we change it. Okay, and leave is now left. Okay, so if you are confused about those, that's just because it's an irregular form and we have to just get used to which ones are irregular and which ones are not when there's a lot of them. Okay, so that's our simple affirmative. Now, when we go to change this to the negative, let's take a look at what happens, okay? Let's stay using these, these uh, verbs here. So we'll use move, travel, come, and leave. Okay, let's change those to negative. And if we're gonna make it negative, we're gonna say, I didn't move, okay? You didn't travel. Okay, now what's happening here? So we've got, we're using the, the auxiliary did, well, do, but do in the past tense is did. And then we're changing back to the positive tense or the, 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 the affirmative form, the base form of it. So we don't say I didn't moved with D on the end. This is negative. So this does not need to be negative. Okay. You didn't travel. So we go back to the original form. Um, she didn't come, okay? They didn't leave, okay? This can be tricky for people often because you're having to change it. So in the past tense, it's left in the affirmative, but in the negative, you go back to the original form, but you're using this did not or didn't. Okay, you can also say did not, that's totally okay. It's totally normal. Either one is completely grammatically correct, okay? Um, so let's see, she didn't come, they didn't leave. Hopefully that's easy for all of you. All right, let's look at questions. Okay, what happens with questions in the yes, no? We always do this part, okay? So, did you move, this is in the past, last year. Okay, so what happened? We take, you have the do auxiliary, the subject, and your main verb, okay? Do plus subject plus main verb. That's what that stands for, okay? One. Let's look at another one. Did you come, did you come late yesterday? Okay, so what's happening again? It's the, and this is the present tense, the present tense of the main verb. So do auxiliary, subject, main verb. Do auxiliary, subject, main verb, okay? Now it's the same then in the negative questions. You can say, uh, it's like a clarifying, let's use this. Didn't 
you travel to Thailand, didn't you? It's like, a, it's kind of the same question is, did, did you travel to Thailand is the same meaning as didn't you travel to Thailand? It's got kind of the same meaning. It, it does have the same meaning, just a different tone. Okay. Um, didn't they leave for California? Didn't they leave for California? Like you're kind of confused, so you're clarifying. Or maybe somebody said something wrong and you're kind of correcting them. Didn't they leave? So you see what I'm saying? Okay, so those are the yes, no questions. And then the answers for those, did you move last year? Yes, I did. Okay, or no, I didn't. And you answer all of those. Didn't you travel to Thailand? No, I didn't. Okay, it's the same two. It's the same for all of them. Okay. Let's see. Okay, what I would like to do um, is have you, I'm going to give you, let's see, where is that worksheet I wanted to have you guys look at? Perfect. This is going to be your homework. So take out a piece of paper. And when you're done, please just go through and answer these questions on a piece of paper. Each one of them has a number. So you just do one, the answer to the answer. Okay, very easy. So let me give this to you here. Complete the biography of the American poet, Emily Dickinson. Use the past of the form, past form of the verbs in parentheses. Okay, so Emily Dickinson, one of the most famous American poets, lived from 1830 to 1886. Okay, her favorite topics were, okay, good, nature, time, and human emotions, okay? So I'll give you that one there. Okay, so take a pause and, and finish that up. All right, moving on to the next one. We've got affirmative and negative statements. So you are using what they're giving you here. So you can see here, they give you the verb and they tell you it's negative. So Dickinson wasn't only interested in poetry. She also liked, okay, so when it's negative, they're gonna tell you it's negative. All right, so please pause that and finish that there. All right, everybody, that is it for today. Let me say goodbye to you all here. Thank you so much for being here and have a great rest of your day.